Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really great day. In today's video, I want to go over the most recent version of XOS, the firmware that's running on your BitX. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, we're currently sitting on the releases page of the GitHub repository ESP Minor. And in here you do see that we are sitting on the text for the version 205 and not 206. Why that is, I will uh, explain you in just a second. So the first thing that got changed in here is Scott implemented a, a fix for a network issue. So whenever you try to connect to a pool that uh, had some stratum URL errors in it. So for example, you you did a an issue there, or your BitX is not able to connect to the to the pool your BitX usually would go into a boot loop, meaning that you can no longer con configure it, and then you would need to factory reset it. To allocate this issue, he implemented this fix. Um, something of this fix got reverted, and that's why the version 206 came out, but more on this later. We also uh, now see that there is a fix for the display when a share was found, so there were some issues when you found a share that the got not displayed correctly on the display, that's now fixed. Uh, also another good feature that got implemented in here is the remove of the password from the REST GET. So whenever you did a GET pull from the REST API of a BitX, you were able to actually see the password in this and now you're no longer able to do so. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's just a small fix, but it's it's a fix that I think it's it's quite good. Uh, also, there are some links added to the latest firmware. What this means, I will show you quickly. Let's move over here and go to the settings page. If you scroll down, we now do see there is something called latest releases, and it will actually show the latest release that has been uh, released. And you now can click on those two links here and download the files directly instead of going over to the releases page of the ESP minor repository. So let's head back to it. And let's see what else got fixed. Uh, there is a fix for the suggested difficulty. So something was not all right on the suggested difficulty when you're trying to connect to a pool. Uh, you do have, uh, your miner does have the option to suggest a difficulty where it wants to hash it. And now there is a fix for this because we figured out there were a couple of issues there. Also, there is a fix for the uh, for the low voltage warning. Uh, basically what this fix means is uh, the threshold on when you do see this warning uh, got lowered. If you do take a look on XOS and let's go over to home, you do see that I'm running at 4.855 millivolts or 4.8 volts. If you do hop over to my other one, this is running at 5 volts but with the version 204, so this with the old one. If this would go below 5 volts, it would display the warning or the, the yeah, the warning um, about low voltage. Now with the latest firmware, it does not display this threshold unless you go below uh, 4.7 something volts, then uh, the threshold would be made and uh, then it would display this warning to you as user. Also, let's see what was the latest fix or the latest change. Uh, there's a, a script has been added to merge the configuration file into the factory file. So um, what this means is you now can actually combine the binary file of the factory file that you do have with a configuration file and only have one file that you can upload to the ESP instead of needing the BitX tool or a Espressive tool. And by the way, speaking about this, we do have a new GitHub page that I highly encourage you to take a look on. Clue.github.io slash bitx dash web dash pleasure and oh, bitx web flasher. There you go. I'm currently on the wrong browser, but when you do have Chrome, you can now flash your bitx on this page, you just plug it in via a USB cable and you can actually factually flash your BitX. Keep in mind, this is only for the Ultra version. I am planning to do this for the Max or the BM1397 version as well, but currently the Ultra version should be fine. And uh, in the future, I will be focusing more on the Ultra version instead of the old one. But uh, yeah, I will definitely implement this as well. 
So let's move on to the version 206. There was an issue with the configuration of the mining configure and mining subscribe. So the order was, there was some mismatch and this one got reverted from the fix that Scott did about the stratum error. So that is only what has changed in the 206 version. Yeah, I think that's it. That's that are all the issues or all the things that have been changed in the most recent version. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.